Hey, what is up guys, Bongonzo here. So this is gonna be a little bit different video, but really not that different. What we're doing in this video is we're making actually two beats. And on top of that, we're just be talking about really, really interesting topics. So actually this video was a shortened version of a live stream that I had a couple weeks ago. That was an amazing, amazing live stream. The reason I decided to make this video is because you guys had some really amazing questions. So we're gonna be talking about those questions today. And some of the questions you asked me are like, how do I make melodies? I talk about how I make melodies. The pros and cons of Cakewalk by BandLab. Um, amazing keyboard shortcuts on cakewalk how do you mix your 808s how do you give impact to your 808s um, how, do, how long do I spend on making my beats what are the future plans of my YouTube channel and my life in general and AI in music artificial intelligent music these are some really really amazing topics they all go in that order um, if you like this video make sure to like button and subscribe button we're getting right into it because this is a really amazing video let's get right into it <laughs> So what I do when I make melodies is I kind of like just draw in a couple random notes and then I try to build notes around them. Okay, and then I'm just going to duplicate that, and I'm going to add basically the same exact MIDI on a slightly different um, patty, pattier, pattier instrument. Heard of it? Is it? It's any good? Yes. Um, Cakewalk is actually a really amazing DAW. Um, Cakewalk has everything you could possibly need with a DAW. Um, it's really simple to use. Um, it's it's actually it's literally it used to be about three hundred dollars by Sonar Works, but then their company actually went out of business because they were owned by some guitar company that went out of business, and then BandLab, which is a free. Um, music making program picked up this DAW and what they did was they they're basically selling this DAW as a fully functional DAW for free and it has all the updates and they up they update just about every two weeks which means it's still in development it's still a good DAW better than FL oh I I, I don't I'm not sure if it's better than FL I would say it's just a little under Ableton slash FL I put it above GarageBand all those basic free ones out of all the DAWs that are out there I'd say this is probably like the third or fourth best one which is really saying something. Um, and it's free. And it's free. Like It's literally like one of those situations where it's like, hey, if you're using GarageBand or something really basic like that, um, upgrade to Cakewalk and your world will be flipped upside down. This is really a crazy thing. GarageBand good though? Yeah, GarageBand is good. But this thing has like literally twice as much that GarageBand has to offer. Have you ever tried to do sidechain in, in GarageBand? It's a pain, and it's not even really possible in like the true, truest form. Um, Sidechain has, has all the best plugins you could ask for. It has really everything you need. When you're comparing something that's $300 to something that's free, um, it's hard to say that 
your version is bad um for vocals yeah yeah actually that's another thing um cakewalk is one of the only programs that actually use that actually works with the microphone like um LMNS, LMNS or something like that. It doesn't actually support microphones. It doesn't support vocals. So that was like pretty much my main reason why I chose Cakewalk. Um, but then as soon as I got Cakewalk, I'm like, why would I ever think about using LMNS? <laughs>
Okay, that's better. There's a lot of resonating and reverb on here. That is kind of cool, but not also kind of not cool. Greetings from India. Wow. What part of India do you live in? take me to finish a beat um i'd say it probably takes me an hour to make like the main part of the beat it takes me an hour to mix it and then maybe i'd add an hour just for random other stuff that i end up doing just for the sake of doing it because i sometimes overcomplicate things so i'd say three hours at the most but i remember that at the very beginning it didn't take me three hours it took me more like six hours Oh, still working on mine four days later. Yep, I totally know how that is. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I totally know how that is, um, Hilma. Um, I usually, I usually, when I say that I do that in three hours, what I mean is I make the bulk of the beat in an hour. And then I just put it into a folder on my desktop and I come back to it probably like a week and a half later and I finish it up or I'll, I'll come back to it like a week and a half later, um, improve it and then come back to it a couple days later and mix and master it and be done with it. Um, when I first started, I would work on it like every single day for a week and then I'd be I'd finally be finished, but no, not anymore. Doesn't matter how much long how long you spend on making a beat, um, but you got to remember that your life isn't all about this one particular beat. So sometimes I think that think of your beats less as your most prized possession that you have to make perfect in absolutely every single way, and start thinking of your beats as um, awesome stepping stones that you're using to get better at making beats. some quite a bit. So what is my future plan? My future plan is to get really awesome at making beats. So my, my future plan is to get really amazing at making beats, sell beats. Um, I'm going to have a podcast going up soon.
probably in the next eight months I'll have a podcast going. Um, I'll tell you more about that later. It's not going to be a normal podcast. It's going to be a very different podcast. Um, I want I want to have I want to be doing great on YouTube. YouTube side of things. I want to get to a thousand subscribers in the next couple months. I want to be thousand subscribers before Feb- February ends. Um, ten thousand e- subscribers by twenty twenty two. Um. So what do you mean? Like my behind beyond twenty twenty two. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'd say maybe... I, I don't know if YouTube is going to be the end game. Music producing is going to be something I'm going to stick with the rest of my life. I want to be able to sell my beats in the relative future. Give me a year on selling beats. I'll sell beats in about a year probably. Unless I can get amazing way better before that. Um, I can totally see myself coming home from my day job and making beats, going out it, going at it alone as a beat make as a producer. That's scary, but I hope it's possible. AI is going to revolutionize everything. 100% it's going to... It, it, actually, it might not revolutionize music. Eh, it's probably going to revolutionize the pro- production of music. Because it's it's because in order for a music producer to beat out an AI, the music producer is going to have to really embrace themselves. They're going to have to embrace their image. Um, AI, AI is going to go into everything. AI is 100% going to go into music production. It already has gone into mis- music production. Um... I don't know if it's going to revolutionize music itself, but it's probably it's I, I I guarantee you it's going to revolutionize like how music how music is made. But the only thing that makes me think about it, it's not going to revolutionize music itself is because all all AI can do is copy what it has around it and get influences from a whole bunch of other things. It can't make something completely brand, but people can people can make brand things that are brand new and people can people can latch who they are onto their music. And people can, and you can get hyped around a song because of who the person is. So I don't know if they're going to revolutionize music, but they're going to revolutionize the production of music. They're going to produ- revolutionize the, the grand scaling of music, like how it reaches people and stuff like that. It's going to revolutionize just about everything. But we'll see. We'll see. That's a good one. Try to figure them out. Okay, and for these little um, these random hits, I'm gonna control them so I have control over the length of them. That sounds awful, but it also sounds kind of cool. Having the idea to having the idea to completely change. 
change up the melody. You wanted this freaking bongo solo?